For many, the Sega Dreamcast remains the greatest console of all time. Sega was at their creative peak with a never-ending stream of awesome new games. The console ushered in online gaming for many, and the graphical capabilities were a massive leap above anything available at the time. In addition to true 480p graphics, the Dreamcast also raised the bar in terms of frame rate, with a ton of games featuring smooth 60 frames per second visuals. On today's episode of 5 Games, we are going to look at 5 Dreamcast racing games reaching the 60 FPS promised land. What better place to start than with Genki's venerable Tokyo Extreme Racer? A launch title for the Dreamcast, the game brags about the frame rate right on the inside cover art, proudly showcasing its technical achievement. Debuting two years before The Fast and the Furious brought Japanese car culture to America's youth, Tokyo Extreme Racer featured all the awesome JDM metal from the late 90s. The meat of the game is the quest mode, allowing you to choose from a couple dozen cars and race around the real-world Shoto Expressway in Tokyo. You flash your lights and the race is on. Unique for the time was a life bar at the top of the screen. While leading, your opponent's bar drains. The farther ahead you are, the quicker it depletes. Of course, if your opponent passes you, you're on the clock to retake the lead before your life bar reaches zero. After winning enough races, you can purchase upgrades, both cosmetic and performance enhancing, and eventually new cars. Back in 1999, nothing on any console or home computer could touch the breathtaking visuals TXR provided. It is a bit dated today, but the fantastic gameplay has helped it withstand the test of time. The game is all about speed, and few games deliver the feeling of street racing at a buck fifty better than this. Next on our list is Acclaim's Revolt. To enable the fast frame rate, you actually have to enter Flyboy as your name. Of course, enabling this mode comes with some drawbacks. Special effects are scaled back, items are removed from the tracks, and the draw distance has been drastically reduced. Still, it's an awesome trade-off and helps Revolt look better than ever. Revolt is an awesome racing game and one of my favorites on the system. The most brilliant aspect is the track design. Not only did they take some awesome set pieces like rooftops, grocery stores, suburbia, and more, and make them convincing locations, they turned them into amazing tracks. The elevation changes and variety of turns are terrific, and easily the highlight of the game. Don't let the childish appearance fool you, however. Revolt is painfully difficult. From the realistic RC controls to the brutal AI, Revolt makes you earn each and every victory. If you can stomach the high difficulty, however, you'll find one of the most rewarding racers I've ever played. There are an endless amount of new cars to unlock, and the tracks actually get better with each new championship, instead of worse. Acclaim may not have been the best developer of all time, but they brought their A-game with Revolt. Next up is Test Drive V-Rally from French developer Infogrames. Of all the games on this list, I'm least familiar with this one. Still, here is what I can tell you. The cars look terrific, with fairly realistic models, smooth textures, and decent transparent glass, complete with reflections. The engine notes are also noteworthy, as they all sound different, capturing the slight nuances of each manufacturer. More impressive are the controls. With just a couple of exceptions, I'm not much for rally games. I'm a bigger fan of track-based racers, which reward memorization, rather than rally games which reward your ability to adjust on the fly. But something about Test Drive V-Rally really grabs me. The controls are amazing, and it didn't take long for me to get in the racing zone, where you become one with the car and start blazing around turns without even thinking about it. Of course, the reason it makes this list is the frame rate. It's absolutely solid, and again aids in the exceptional sensation of speed. The graphics themselves are more of a mixed bag, with some environments looking excellent while others look rather dated. Still, as a whole, this is a game that has flown well under my radar until just recently, but I can already tell this one is a winner. Of course, what Dreamcast racing list would be complete without a Sega racer from the iconic Yu Suzuki? 
despite debuting in arcades, F355 Challenge is a hardcore simulator all the way. There is but a single car, the F355, a single viewpoint from the driver's seat, and a handful of the best racetracks from across the globe. The game even warns against selecting intermediate, letting you know it ain't messing around. Thankfully, there are driving aids available, making this more palatable to casual fans or rusty veterans like yours truly. Where F355 Challenge truly shines are the controls. The steering, accelerating, and braking are wonderfully tuned to the analog controls of a standard Dreamcast controller. After a lengthy learning curve, it is possible to find some success and unlock some new world-class tracks, but you've been warned. Where the game excels, like all Sega racers, is the presentation. The rock soundtrack, complete with DJ, is outstanding and ranks right up there with Sega's best. And of course, the visuals are top-notch. While the textures are a bit soft, the polygon count is excellent. The Ferraris, the berms, the guardrail, the background all look amazing. Even more so with the ultra-fast frame rate. While it may not be the most accessible game in the Dreamcast's library, it does an awesome job showcasing the power of the console. Last, but certainly not least, is Vanishing Point from Clockwork Games. Oddly enough, this is the third game on the list published by Acclaim. In my honest opinion, this is the best looking game in the Dreamcast's library. There are simply no compromises to speak of. The car models look amazing, from the brake rotors, door seams, and headlights, no detail is missing. The environments are also compromise free, featuring razor sharp textures, detailed background objects, and even convincing trees. And it all moves at a breathtaking 60 frames per second without any slowdown to speak of. It is truly a technical marvel. However, sacrifices were made in other areas. For one, there is no artificial intelligence to race against, which probably saved many CPU cycles needed to keep the graphical wizardry racing along. Second, the controls are kind of bad. All of the cars want to self-center, and the learning curve to just keep the beautiful models on the track is steep. If you can wrap your head around the controls, you're in for more frustration, with the game featuring races that take far too long and championships that must be started over from scratch if you don't do well on a single course. It all adds up to a frustrating experience, but man is it pretty. And there you have it, 5 Dreamcast racing games that raise the console bar, with high-res graphics running at 60 frames per second. Now, this is not a definitive list, nor is it intended to be a best of, and the Dreamcast has far more than 5 smooth racing games, so be sure to leave a comment and let me know which 60 FPS Dreamcast racers you enjoy.